Steve Wan. Madam Deputy President, we recently lost a very talented and wonderful friend and colleague. Kurt Steele was just starting, getting started on what everyone who knows him knew would be a brilliant contribution to our community. Even by 25 years old, he'd already made an impact on his community, on the Labor Party on all, and on all of us who worked with him. Kurt was tragically killed in a bus crash in Bolivia early in the morning on Sunday the 31st of August. I employed Kurt in, my, in the Monero electorate office in 2009. I'd already heard of him before he came to work for me from his dad, Phil, who was deputy principal at Carabar High and who told me about his son's passion for politics. Kurt was, I think, just 20 when he came, but he'd already shown his leadership qualities at Canberra University. He learnt very quickly from Lee and Steve in my office and quickly joined my wonderful team in the then ministerial office in Sydney. Some of them have joined us in the gallery today, and I speak for them and for Cherie and myself when I express how devastated we feel by Kurt's death. Kurt's tragic death has inspired tributes from an incredible range of people. One of the many things that they've all highlighted is Kurt's smile. A genuine smile of a bloke who enjoyed life, enjoyed the company of his colleagues. Sometimes I noticed it was a slightly uncertain grin as he bowled in to try and make me do something I didn't really want to do. But more often, a cheeky grin, which lifted the spirits of everyone around him, but always smiling. In our office, Kurt was a star amongst stars. He learnt fast, he worked hard, but just as importantly, he was a friend and always ready with that smile and a laugh. I know that everyone in our office can remember many things that were special about Kurt. Jen, my former Chief of Staff, said uh, on, on uh, Facebook, my colleague, my friend, my hero, I shall miss you, Kurt Steele. Jen says, all who met Kurt immediately loved Kurt. Kurt was kind, he was gentle, he was smart, Kurt was loyal, friendly and committed. There simply are not enough words to describe our Kurt. Garth Montgomery said, uh, on, also on Facebook, Kurt was known to all as fun, hyper-intelligent and generous guy. He had a huge future and was taken so suddenly. I'll never forget awesome times we shared, training, karaoke, in Parliament and the many other mischievous adventures, a top bloke from a lovely family. One of our other colleagues, Martin Elms, said, I don't believe in happy endings, but I do believe in happy journeys. On that measure, Kurt Steele, you nailed it, mate. You made sure your short time on this rock was spent bringing everyone else along your happy journey too. Well done, a life well lived, yet cut far too short. Our Curdy is how Jen and Loz and many others see Kurt. Uh, Cherie is with us today as well, and that's how she described him too. In politics, you're lucky to get someone like Kurt, and he was part of our extended family. After the 2011 election, Kurt went back to Canberra to work with the Deputy Chief Minister, Andrew Barr. The qualities we loved here meant he shone there as well. I know we'd like to think he was our Kurt, but the people he worked with in Andrew's office and the ACT branch also do too, and they miss him uh, very much as well. In the four years there, he achieved amazing things through his work in the ACT government, through the local Centre Unity Group and many other areas. His impact is clear from the wonderful tributes people have paid. The Canberra Raiders paid tribute to him at their last home game. Federal Opposition Leader Bill Shorten, the ACT's political leaders from all sides of politics, the media in Canberra region, and on social media, hundreds of heartfelt and moving tributes. Why? Because he was a great young man, a person who'd got things done, who had a vision and a desire to make his community and our country a better place through his political involvement. Yeah. Kurt was the man he was because of his family. His mother and father, Jane and Phil, did a remarkable job raising Kurt, along with Chris and Yasmin. The love of the Steele family, their honesty and their commitment to social justice was mirrored in Kurt's actions in daily life. I think all of us who worked with Kurt knew how close he was to his family. He talked about them a lot, and he was very proud of his parents' uh, lifelong commitment to education. And I know they are proud of him, as they should be. Jane and Phil gave us, you gave us a great gift with Kurt. All of us who loved Kurt feel the loss, but none of us can begin to imagine the pain Jane, Phil, Chris and Yasmin are feeling. Kurt was the youngest. I hear he may have been the little prince his nick, as a nickname. He was a great source of joy and pride. Jane, Phil and Yasmin return today from the most heart-wrenching and devastating thing a parent could have to do. They're returning home from the difficult star task of bringing Kurt home, <coughs> and our hearts go out to them. Kurt was on his trip of a lifetime when the tragic accident took place. He was with a very close friend of his, Gemma, who's from Bungendore, and I send my best uh, wishes to her family. She's uh, yet to come home and seriously injured. I'm still finding it hard to imagine that Kurt isn't going to pop up to help my campaign in Monero. Um, all of us who knew him knew that he would have made a huge mark. He was destined for big things. It's tragic we won't see it now, 
we remember his all too short but shining contribution. We'll remember our friend and we'll miss him. Rest in peace, Kurt. Yeah.